worst mistakes I ever made was moving into an apartment that I cannot afford. Okay, cool. So I'm having to move out of my house because I can't afford rent. So I'm moving into my parents' property. So I'm just saying, like, you know what? Me moving into my parents' house at 30 is going to be the best thing that's ever happened to me. It doesn't matter. We're going to be fine. We're all going to be fine. You can help me um, if any of you have extra money. Um, so, um, yeah. Uh, I've been pretty much a mess since I read that, and, um, I don't wanna, I don't know what to do, so, um, if, if y'all could please help and reach out, that'd be great, um, that'd be really great, thanks. Um, I need your help. I might lose my house, and, um, if this letter is any indication, which I'm pretty sure it is, um, I'm, I'm literally shaking. Um, yeah, my heart is pounding. It's like uh, over a hundred beats per minute. So yeah, I'm uh, I'm really going through the anxiety. Okay. If anyone can help me with that, I would really fucking appreciate it because like, I really don't know what I'm gonna do without this place. I I have spent so much time crying and a lot more complicated of a situation regarding me losing my house than most people do. I want to know who they're pricing these expensive ass apartments for. Who are they pricing it for? Because there's no way that I can't find a one bedroom, one bathroom for lower than $2,300 that's actually decent. No roaches, no rats. We should not be in a state where minimum wage workers have to live with three to four people in order to afford to live. Everyone at minimum should be able to afford to live alone period i am not in a good situation i am not okay i don't know what to do i am literally being kicked out of this apartment by five o'clock tomorrow to avoid getting an eviction on my record and my parents have lied essentially and gone back on everything that they said that um we were supposed to have set up for me so um no I'm just and I literally have like 30 hours before I have to be out of this apartment or I have to go back to court. So, <laughs> so if anybody can help me, please help me. I don't know what to do. I live in Columbus, Ohio. I will literally pack it up and go anywhere. Right? I don't, I'll go anywhere right now. I will go anywhere. <laughs> At least she's good enough to have some real tears. I give her credit for that. You see guys, this is what I don't understand. Why is she blaming her eviction of her parents? She said that her parents lied to her, but how? And she also said that her parents are trying to trap her into moving back into a place that she cannot physically be. Okay, maybe her parents saw how much she was struggling to pay the rent and asked her if she could move back in with them, which is something that a loving and caring parent would do. But this is what I hate about this whole situation. She is passing the blame on everyone else but herself. Accountability is definitely women's kryptonite. So I'm currently in a position where I'm losing my apartment in Quebec. And if I don't find another place by the end of September, I'm going to be essentially homeless. I have nowhere else to go. Now, there's a few mistakes that I made in this process. And that's the reason that I'm sharing this video because I don't want other people to make the same mistakes as I am and end up in the same position as I am. I can't be out in August. Like that's way too fast. And her response to that was to send a threatening letter, threatening legal action if I don't agree to what she's propositioning. And I said, well, no, I, this is not what we agreed to. I can't do this. So she goes and gets a lawyer. And the lawyer sends me a very threatening letter saying that if I don't agree to what she wants, that they're going to go to the rental tribunal and they're going to have me evicted. And guess what their reason for having me evicted for? Non-payment of the full amount of rent. They, they obviously can't do this. I mean, there's no way that they can have me evicted based on this. Well, guess what? Yeah, they can. I went to see a lawyer and yeah, yeah, they can. And she advised me, look, entering into agreement with her because otherwise not only can she go to the regie have you evicted for not paying the full amount of rent but she can also request back pay for all of the rent that you didn't pay 
Maybe I'm wrong, but does she look like she has some plastic surgery done on her lips? I don't know. Anyway, her story doesn't add up. I think there is a lot more to this story than what she's telling us. She left out many details and on purpose. But while I could afford my actual apartment and the rent, I really could not do anything else but stay inside. Be able to go on like trips to Europe and things like that. So if you're a young person that's easily influenced and you want the lifestyle that you see everywhere online, just think twice about it because it's not always amazing and not always great. I moved into a place that I can't afford and now I'm stuck. I recently moved into a luxury apartment and though it is nice and I like it and all these other things, I realized that I can't afford it. But as far as like what I want to do in life, I can't really afford it. In a sense of now I'm in a position where it's like I'm here and I pay so much in rent is to the point where it's like I can't even go on a trip right now. Like I can't like and I haven't traveled in a while and I'm very big on traveling. Like I'm very big on going out and stuff like that. And I can't really do it as much as I would like to because it's like, I can't afford it. You know, now I'm making more money. So it just makes sense for me to get a nicer place. It just makes sense for me to get a luxury apartment because I'm making this amount of money and people who make this amount of money live in this kind of place. Like I'm in a position I honestly and truly can say like, if something drastic would happen, knock on wood, I pray not. I don't know if I'll be able to afford it. At least before, you know, when I wanted to, I can go on trips and I can do different things. And it's just like the same problems that I was having before I have again, because I feel like every time I want to, like I level up my lifestyle, I feel like I have to level up all the problems with it. And it's like, that's why I truly never level up. So I just thought that was so crazy because I really was sitting here and I'm like, yo, I can afford this, this place on paper, but like, I can't afford this place in my soul. I guess many people have different definitions of struggling. For her, struggling is living into a luxury apartment, but not be able to travel and go on trips. These women act as if going on trip is a God-given right. But thank God we have the internet and TikTok to show us how stupid these women really are. No wonder why they can't afford their rent. I made 10 door dashes in the last two hours. And guess how much I made? Guess, guess. After gas, I made a whopping twenty-four seventy-six. Not even a full twenty-five dollars. Like I can't even get my own food door dashed for twenty-five dollars. Okay. When I moved to Cali from Texas last year, I really thought that I was going to be living my California dream. I got my full time job. I got health insurance, benefits, all of that stuff, all of the things that I thought that I needed to live a comfortable life. And it just feels like I can never make ends meet. Like I'm literally clocking into my five to nine after my nine to five. And Hold on, girl, I got an order. And I'm just so frustrated because I feel like I've done everything right. Like I went to school, I got my degree, I got a job, but like with rent and bills and student loans and groceries and gas, like it just feels like I just cannot get ahead. And it's like these billionaires, billionaires who have never had to lug five Big Mac meals with drinks, up three flights of stairs it feels like like they are making money hand over fist something has got to give and i feel like it needs to be them because i am tired all right the billionaires need to start opening their pocketbooks because i can't afford to keep on opening mine she's hustling backwards if you ask my opinion so basically she moved from texas to california because she wanted to live her california dream i mean who still believe in the california dream nowadays it's more like a california nightmare if you ask my opinion that was a very stupid move i did the opposite i moved from california to texas why because of economics you don't need a phd in finance to understand that rent food gas basically everything else costs more in california it costs way more than it does here in Texas. Yes, companies will pay you more if you live in California than if you live in Texas. But overall, it comes down to one simple thing. How much money do you have available at the end of the month after you have paid all your bills and the next paycheck has not hit your bank account yet? 
the same house that costs you close to one million dollars in california will cost you around three hundred and twenty thousand dollars here in san antonio texas and that's the main reason why i left california to come here in texas i wanted to live in a nice house that i can afford and with a warm weather because i hate the snow and i hate the winter now guys let me tell you something the heat over here in texas in the summer is burning hot burning hot but outside of that i love texas we have no state income tax compared to california where i used to pay 13 percent in state income tax anyway guys i don't want to make this video too much boring by talking about too much economics and finance but you don't move from texas to california you do the opposite i'm freaking out right now because i live in southern california i live in an apartment two bedroom two bath i'm already paying thirty two hundred dollars for this tiny little apartment like 700 square feet two bed two bath and i just got my renewal lease offer now they're going to be charging me thirty eight hundred dollars that's like a six hundred dollar increase from what i'm paying now six hundred dollars so i'm freaking out because I can barely afford where I'm living right now. It's already hard. I already work two jobs. How on earth am I gonna have to spend an extra 600? And that's not even including my utilities. With utilities, it'll probably be $4,000 for my two bed, two baths in California. Going from 3,200 to almost $4,000. How is this possible? Who can afford to do this? Who can afford to live here? If this is what's gonna happen, I'm gonna move to a what, a one bedroom apartment? So I just, I just, I don't know. Like I'm freaking out. I feel helpless. I can't contact the leasing renewal specialist because they're closed on the weekends, it's Saturday. So I don't know what to do. I don't know if this is right. I don't know if anyone else is experiencing. God forbid, God forbid you want to live in Hollywood, downtown LA, anywhere, just anywhere central. It is so overpriced and you get, you pay for so much for such little, it is so ugly out here. Does she know that she doesn't have to live in LA? She could actually move to a state where the rent is cheaper. These women always act as if they have to live in New York LA or Miami and they wonder why they can't pay their rent. Someone needs to invent a software or app that allows you to pay your rent off over the month. And I know they have like flex rent which could break which breaks your rent up into like four payments or something like that. No, I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about I if I got $25 to put towards my rent this week let me put $25 to it. If next week I want to put $437 to it specifically, let me do that. Like, can y'all invent that? That's an idea that I had, but I don't have the means to create it. So, can someone please create it because... I mean, look at her. She thinks she's so smart. She actually believes that she just came up with something that is very new and revolutionary. But I have an answer for her. Actually, I have two answers for her. Ma'am, ma'am, you could actually take those $25 from an ATM machine and put it in an envelope. Then you can repeat the process as many times as you want until you get the amount that you need to pay your rent. Now, I understand that some people don't like carrying cash. I get that. Well, if that's the case, you could actually open a savings account and put $25 into that account until you get the amount that you need to pay your rent. Wow, those boss chicks don't like to take accountability for anything that they do they don't want any accountability for the actions so i begged my landlord yesterday to let me stay here until the 17th so i could try to pay them back it is now a thousand something dollars for my rent like i'm not joking fun fact my uh leasing office whatever it is landlord they used to take partial payments this year they decided we're not taking partial payments anymore we just take the whole amount how is that fair 
Like, I literally continue to rack up late fees because you won't let me pay the full amount, like, any amount of it. Like, how is that even, like, like, be so for real? And then on top of that, I literally live by myself. I'm the only one who has to pay this amount just to live, just to, just to have all my stuff that I have, which I don't, that's not even worth this much. Let me tell her why her apartment complex stopped taking partial payment for rent. People were probably not paying their full rent balance by the end of the month. These same people started carrying unpaid rent balances over to the following months. Also, she just said that she's living by herself and she's paying for everything herself. Okay, who else is supposed to pay for it? I have some ideas for her. She could move in with a few roommates. That would greatly reduce how much she pay in rent every month. But she won't do that. You know why? Because she will not be a boss baby anymore. And that's what she wants in the end.